chef owner of Litz, corner of 23rd and L in the West End of our lovely city of DC. I am here today to show you how to make the most delicious, wonderful scallop margarita. First of all, you have to get freshest, freshest, freshest scallops from Hotspur. And so that you know, you must ask your fishmonger or wherever it is for dry sea scallops. Now you slice it down the middle and then slice each half in six. So I get about 12 pieces. So we're going to take those scallops, cover them in lime juice. You want them to be, I want to say, swimming a little bit, not maybe swimming, floating. But there is looseness around, there is juice, good juice. And put those in the fridge, marinate them for no more than an hour. Get a couple of other preparations made. Um, I have orange sections. Put a little bit of ancho chili puree. This puree is made by taking ancho chilies, covering them with orange juice, and um, de-stemming the chilies and de-seeding the chilies, cover, putting them in a pot, covering them with orange juice, and cooking just until the chilies are soft. And then I puree them in a blender and strain them through a sieve and candy to make sure all the seeds and any unwanted skin is removed. I use really good olive oil when I make this, so just get the best olive oil you can. So I'm just going to season that with a little salt and pepper as well. Then another thing you have to do is get the avocado uh, ready. And the easiest way to prepare an avocado for making guacamole is making anything. Avocados are gorgeous right now. So, you know, if you're using them for everything, they're great for you. This is just cut the avocado in half, twist it, separate it, and take your knife and just stab with a little bit of force the pit. Twist the pit, comes right out. But you take it and just score it right inside the skin. And then when we're ready, I'm going to salt and pepper this and put a little lime juice on it. So these are scallops that have been cooked for about 45 minutes. Okay, and you can still see that they're they're translucent there, but you can still see they're a little bit raw in the center. I'm going to mix in cilantro, nice beautiful julienne uh, uh, sliced scallions. And julienne, this is the roasted, but these are the poblano chilies. We grill them or roast them, um, whichever you prefer, and then peel them and julienne them into strips, and that's about a good amount. These are the fresh, beautifully julienned um, jalapeno chilies. Some beautifully julienne um, red onion. I'm going to season all of this with salt and pepper. So I'm going to put a little bit more fresh lime juice and my lovely olive oil. And just use the best olive oil that you can. I'm just going to toss all of that together. Scoop the about half of the avocado. And it's already cut and ready to go. I'm just going to moisten the edge of the glass. And I like a nice wide band of salt. I'm going to take half of my mixture. Put it in the bottom of the glass. Then I'm going to put my layer of sour cream. And then layer of the oranges marinated in the ancho chili. The rest of the scallops. As you plan to make a scallop margarita, the, one of the things you have to do the day before is to make the tequila granitas. It's a tequila lime ice. Very, very simple. Follow the recipe. The matter of heating up sugar and lime juice and water and lime zest and adding just a little bit of tequila juice. I use about a one ounce scoop um, and per serving. The crunch of the chips is just adds all the levels of flavor in this dish. And there you have it.